Hey, it's Paul from HowToNetwork.com. I've just um, finished putting some updates into the Wireshark Certified Network Analyst course, or WCNA for short. And then it occurred to me I haven't really explained uh, what it is and what's in it for you for getting the certification. So I thought I'd put a, a short video together. So here's what you need to know. This is probably the best certification you don't have yet. Um, it's a bit of a I think a open secret in the IT world. So if you haven't heard about me, I used to work at Cisco TAC. I've been teaching IT and consulting since 2002. I've written all of these books. There's some more actually. Started knowing nothing. So if you're if you know nothing, then you can uh, do the same or better. I've actually got this in the post now. It's coming to me from America. The Wireshark Certified Network Analyst and um, 101 Labs book. So um, whenever you're listening to this, you can have a look on Amazon and um, it might be there. Some websites, howtonetwork.com, 101labs.net and in 60days.com. Please, if you want some more information about IT certification in your career, click on subscribe and smack the bell. And let's get into it. So if you don't know what Wireshark is, I'll explain very quickly. It's the world's most popular packet sniffing software. And I'm sure you know if you if you have any interest in IT, but as you can see here, you've got various devices and you can have routers and switches. And as they communicate, the packets will traverse across your network. You can also have it um, wirelessly as well. You can sniff wireless traffic and your packet, sniff, your packet sniffing software. There's more than just Wireshark, but Wireshark is the most popular. will capture the packets for you to analyze in real time or more likely you'll save a file and then look at it later and then you can pass that file on to other colleagues or to software vendors or hardware vendors. It's free which is great you can download it on various platforms and run it in a virtual machine when you're practicing for your um, exam. Uh, what can you do with it? Uh, you can baseline network so gen uh, generally say from um, 8 o'clock when everyone logs in to say um, 6 p.m. What you can do is run a baseline of your network and you'll see a spike maybe at a certain time, a spike when everyone comes back from lunch. And what you can do is start working out your provisioning, what devices you need to upgrade, and where your problems are and um, just give, have a, an intelligent decision and you can pass that on to um, the people who ever, who ever runs your company. You can troubleshoot problems. You can see where they're occurring and what the problem is. Find the location. So if you've got a huge burst of traffic, say on a graph that you can see in Wireshark, you can actually locate, uh, hang on, it's coming from this particular device here because the network card is faulty. It's really handy for that kind of thing. Detect security issues and hacks. Uh, more information in the course where you can look at um, some of the common attackers and common uh, things that attackers do to try and hack into your network like ARP spoofing you can actually see the packets when you capture them. You can escalate issues to the vendors with proof so if you can prove for example there's some issue on a switch and it's due to the um, hardware or software you could actually send a file to the vendor proving that it isn't something you've done it's a problem with their equipment. Optimize your network for performance, which I've kind of mentioned already, and spend money in the right place. So if everything's fine on all these devices here, but you've got a problem, say with your switch, then you know you can upgrade the switch and you, you can make a recommendation to whoever's doing the purchasing. And again, you can do this with proof, which is always handy to have. You can also go consulting in your spare time, especially this kind of thing here. You could offer to go into companies and say, right, I'll, I'll run the software. You don't have to be there when you do it. You can ha have it running remotely or leave something on site and you can provide them with um, all the graphs and statistics of what their, how their network is performing and if there's any problems. Why learn it? Well, uh, loads of jobs um, ask for Wireshark. So if it's... Um, Say if you've got CCNA and someone else's CCNA, if you have this added to it, the Wireshark, my arrows are awful, then this obviously means you're going to be the preferred candidate. Uh, you get paid more because you're higher skilled. You'll be an expert at work because you can sniff packets and a lot of people can't do it. You'll save a lot of time troubleshooting and fault finding. 
you would often use it daily at work depending on what you're doing but if you're working in networking or security so you can obviously see here I did a job search and I just put Wireshark or you can do WCNA and put both in another job again they're looking for coding and uh, some Wireshark another one here this is just a bog standard network engineer but they're looking for this came up as well but I think of cropped it off sorry but they're definitely looking for the WCNA I cropped it a bit too short sorry oh there it is sorry let me go back I can't see for looking there's the Wireshark so Windows and Linux that's obviously um, standard you should know that already but they're looking for somebody who's got Wireshark again Wireshark network engineer network engineer Cisco with Wireshark Network engineer, Wireshark. There's loads, and it includes if you look for security engineers as well, you'll see it. So, jobs, more money. Uh, why should you get certified? You could learn it, but why get certified? You'll hit the job matches. So, on your resume, you would put WCNA and you'd put Wireshark just in case somebody's searching for Wireshark and they don't know what the uh, certification name is, and you will come up in the job matches. You'll get paid more, as I said earlier. You've got a lot more confidence because you've got a deep understanding of protocols and services. You're more likely to get promoted, especially into um, technical, senior technical roles. It takes around two weeks work, approximately, um, only like an hour or two a day. It's, 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 um, it's a GUI, so you use a menu system, a point and click. There is a command line as well you can learn. Uh, I'll put some more jobs here as well. This is a security job this time. But just showing you how important it is to have Wireshark, Cyber Defender, and again, they're looking for you to understand Wireshark. So it's not just networking. Uh, freelancing consulting, I've mentioned that already. Learning Wireshark helps with a ton of stuff. You are learning this stuff anyway if you're doing any IT exams. Anything to do with TCP IP, which I'm going to say is almost every certification in some um, in some sense. Network forensics and security is important. Wireless, uh, you, you will use that when you're provisioning and looking at install in installations and troubleshooting. Designing networks, voice and video, that's included in the syllabus. Your CCNA, your CompTIA Network Plus, Certified Ethical Hacker, um, Penetration Testing, even your Microsoft Security Fundamentals. All of this requires you understand TCP IP and um, network forensics in detail and that's included in the syllabus. The uh, course we've got on howtonetwork.com is taught by Wireshark experts and um, one guy originally did the course and I've done the updates, the IPv6 updates, there was just a few things added to the latest iteration of the exam. And this is actually a screenshot of Packet Tracer, you see some packets being caught and further down here we'll show you how to deep dive in. I've already mentioned the book, which should be out. Um, it's in the post now, so it should be here soon. Uh, the course is packed full of lessons, your theory lessons. We also have uh, end of lesson quizzes, and we also have follow along labs. So you do the um, theory, you take a quiz, and then you do a lab. This is the three, or these are the three things you need to do in order to pass any certification exam, not just Wireshark. So we're hitting all of the major three areas. You'll do a deep dive into actual packets. You can capture them on your home network or you can download sample captures from the uh, Wireshark website. There's loads of those. Now we've added a bonus exam. Um, when you do an exam, um, if you try and take the Wireshark uh, certification, they offer you practice exams. They're going for $97 each. So if you want to take a couple, you've, you've basically spent $200 to, to prepare yourself which makes sense before you do the actual exam. We've put um, two times 50 question exams at the end of the course for the first 150 students who take it. There's also a 450 page course guide. I mean, I don't even know what that's worth. Say, I mean, that's going to be worth around $40, something like that. And um, looking at what they're selling for on uh, Amazon. So all of the lesson notes you learn, captures, dives into TCP IP and SYN and SYNAC and packets and a whole bunch of stuff and IPv6 and also some uh, tips and tricks for using Wireshark. That's all included as well. 
this is uh, one of the quizzes here and um, this is a mini quiz and then the big exams are at the end of the course so there's the uh, book but that's an ebook you'll be able to download if you come to howtonetwork.com um, access to the website actually includes all of these courses I, th I think we're on 50 plus courses now so the Wireshark if you come to the web um, howtonetwork.com here and then if you want to just look at the Wireshark um, it's here but obviously there's a whole bunch of Cisco career DevOps Linux um, and we're adding um, we're adding some new stuff as well we're adding new stuff all of the time all right, so it's $1 for a 30-day trial, and then it converts to $20. You can quit at any time by logging into the members area, and you can manage your account, and you can um, cancel whenever you want. Um, it's 50-plus courses now. I must update that um, part of the slide. Practice exams for loads of certifications. We've got live Cisco racks 24-7. Expert support on the forum. Career training, exam strategy support, and a bunch of other stuff. So thanks for listening. Again, really important certification. I hope you have a look at it and I'll see you on the next video.